I'd go back to that place if I could Get all of our Christmas lights put up. Nice fire. Under the lights, you catch my eye. Have never seen in slow motion. I can't risk the way that left you made. Let's be not king goes on The firelight makes your skin glow Now Santa will get your letter And you must already know What you do to me I'm already dreaming about An old fashioned Christmas with the stranger Alberta Adventure family, well, almost everyone's here, but uh, just missing Mike today. We are headed to the Mutart Conservatory, which is one of Canada's largest indoor, um, I guess, greenhouses. Haven't been there since I was probably like Veronica's age, so four years old. It is uh, composed of four glass pyramids, uh, three of which are greenhouses. You got your arid, your tropical, and your temperate climates. And then one of them is a feature uh, pyramid, so it just kind of rotates right now. It is kind of all set up for Christmas so we'll go check it out. I actually wonder how many people actually go there every year. Like I said I'm not right from in Edmonton but I haven't been there since I was little so. End of November and it's pouring rain. Wasn't prepared for this. Nope. Are you getting rain done? Ah! <laughs> Okay, hurry up, guys. I am, I am. <laughs> yeah, Danica doesn't like it. Yeah, we're gonna run. Those are pretty big pyramids, eh? If you're looking for something to do in Edmonton, Alberta, a trip to the Mutart Conservatory is a must. Oh. The Mutart Conservatory oh, is an iconic landmark located in Edmonton's River Valley and consists of four glass pyramids, which are operated by the city of Edmonton. Three pyramids are climate-regulated biomes consisting of tropical, arid, and temperate climates, while the fourth pyramid is a feature display that changes throughout the year. The conservatory houses over 700 species of plants. How cool is that? The Tropical Pyramid has a diversity of species from tropical rainforests to evergreen forests and grasslands. Tropical climates are defined by a monthly average temperature of 18 degrees Celsius or higher in the coldest month and feature hot temperatures all year round. Look at those, all the orchids. <laughs>
The arid pyramid has plants spanning from five different continents. These plants can withstand hot and cold fluctuations, very dry air and soil, along with irregular moisture. The temperate pyramid consists of plants from around North America, Australia, and the mountainous regions of Asia. Temperate climates are generally defined as environments with moderate rainfall spread across the year with sporadic drought, mild to warm summers, and cold winters. So these, these fish are just to look at, kiddo. You can't fish them. Very humid in this one. Look at the big orange one. Yeah, right there, the orange one. You can see it through there? You can. That's pretty neat. It's so vibrant, right? It's just bright. And this is one of those tiger sumac. The fourth pyramid is the feature and changes displays throughout the year. We visited during the Christmas, so it was decorated in lovely poinsettias and even featured several locations to take pictures. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time guys.